Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have successfully created the project using the ng new command. So when you want to run the application, we need to type the command ng serve hyphen o, where hyphen o will automatically open the browser, the, the app in the uh, the app in the browser. So fine. So now we have created our application. Let's take a look at uh, the project file structure. So what are the files that are created by the Angular CLI tool? So now normally you develop the applications in the context of an angular workspace so this is called as an angular workspace a workspace contains the files of one or more project so here you can think of this one as one project right but here this is called as an actually angular workspace in this angular workspace you can have more than one project so a project a normal typically a project is a set of files that compress of an stand alone application or a shareable library so a project means what i can say is it is a, it consists of an stand alone application or a shareable library angular library will discuss is about that one so now when you type a ng new command it will create a new angular workspace so that is one thing fine fine right so now let's try to look at this files some of the files available in this one so we will try to see at the outer uh, files what are had what are that has been created first one if you try to see here you will be having editor config the editor config is configuration for the code editors so how the code editors should be have the how many indentation you need to give and all those configuration will be having in the editor config why because we will be using different types of editors right so the different users uses different types of editors like visual studio code atom like that so it, it will provide you a common configuration and the next one is the git ignore if you try to see here the git ignore means intentionally it uh, untracks the files that github should ignore now next one is the readme.md file so here if you try to see readme.md file so this one is introductory documentation for the application so if you want to update uh, edit it you can edit it it will explain you about the application what is this actual uh, project is about and the important thing is the angular.json angular 5 version and below you will be having this name as an angular cli.json but this one is renamed with the angular.json so this is the cli configuration defaults for all the projects in the workspace so right now we are having only one project so this is the project including configuration options for build serve and test tools that the cli uses such as karma protractor everything so if you we will see about this one afterwards so we already we have covered these all the videos in this one and another one is the package.json so you already know about this package.json so it will configure all the npm package dependencies that are that should that are available to all projects in the workspace and another one is the source folder so these are the typical thing these are this is the source folder so source folder is their root level application project and the node modules you already know it provides the npm packages to the entire workspace and the another one is the tsconfig.json so we have forgot about this tsconfig this is the basic TypeScript configuration for the projects in the workspace. All other configuration files inherit from this base file. So this is the base configuration file. So you, uh, if you want to know about this TypeScript configuration and all those things, we have already covered in our TypeScript playlist. You can play, take a look at that one. Fine. By default, the CLI command when you type uh, ng new my uh, ng style animation, this is our project, right? So it creates a workspace folder named my my ng style animations and generates the new application skeleton in a source folder so this is the thing so now here in this one if you try to see so you will be having different types of folders so this is the root level application and here if you try to see this is the app folder this contains all the component files in which your application logic and data are defined and this is the assets folder assets folder means it contains the images and other assets files directly it will be copied as it is when you build your application and another one is a favicon.io so this one is the normally the icon to use it index.html file so this, this is the html file that is served when someone visits your site main.cts file so you will be able to see the main.ts file so this, this is the main entry point for your application so this one compiles the application with JIT compiler and bootstraps the application's root module and also you can also use the AOT compiler without changing any code by appending the hyphen hyphen AOT flag in the CLI pool and you'll be able to see the styles.css so these are all the lists of css files that supply support for a project so this is the thing and this is all about the thing and and if you try to see here in our thing 
and in the app folder if you see here you will be able to see the app component.ts app component.html css spec.ts these all things you will be able to see right so this is the component thing so ts file defines the logic for the application root component and html defines the html template and css is the base style sheet for the root component and spec.ts is the unit test for the root component and here apart from that one so you have we have an important one that is app module.ts defines the root module named app module that tells the angular how to assemble the application initially declares only the app component as you add more components to the app they must be declared here that is the main thing so only gen uh, and you will be able to see that uh, that's it so this is all about thing and if you try to see and that that's it okay. so you will be having app.config.es that will be created when you create a components that are standalone so now that's it that's, this is all about the project file structure so if you try to see this is all about the project file structure so this is our root project folder structure so he, from here we will be developing this one and here this is the node module source assets environments means these are all the environments so if you are having any files or any 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 uh, configurations or anything you can mention it here and prod.ts it will be overridden and apart from this one you will be having that's it browserlash.rc means so these are the browsers whatever the browsers you want to support you can have it so if you want to see more about this one so you can go ahead here you can see browser list i get ignore angular karma means it's a karma for the what i can say is we already covered about this one jasmine and all those things so you can see for the unit testing mm, and package that's it size so this is all about the different types of folder structures that are having so what i will try to do is we'll try we will create a new pro, uh, github so here i will be creating a new github.com I will provide the link below. So from here onwards, we will we will work on this project. And here I will create a new project. So here new one. I am creating a new repository. Ilan Arsma. So here, ng hyphen style hyphen animations or something. So here we can use whatever the name you want. So whatever the name you want, you can keep it. And here I am creating the repository. Let's create the repository. And I want to use this repository, so already we have it. So I am using this command. Let's go here. So in order to use this one, what I can do is um, git initialization, and here git. Sorry, we already co co copied this one, right? Yeah. Now if you go into here, now let's copy this one. Here I will paste it. So we are replacing, renaming this one, and git add dot will commit all those things. So these all the things are committed. Now here, now what I can do is git commit hyphen m initial commit. So we'll commit all the things. Nothing to commit. Everything is clean. It seems. So git push hyphen u origin main. I am using this command. So let's commit all these things. So it will take some time to commit. So let it commit. Yeah, it is committed. Now, if you try to refresh this page, so here you'll be able to see all the code. So from here, from now onwards, we will be able to see this code. So in the package.json, if you try to open the current version of Angular, we are trying to use is the 14. Okay, so Angular code where it is 14. So the current version we are using is the 14. So right now, what is the version we are having? So let's we'll check it in the next video, and we will if we want we will update it this one. So that's it, guys. So hope you understood about this project file structure. If you have any doubts or any suggestions. Please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.